Well, we've been in the bar now for six plus months. We was wanting to do this in the spring, but it just hasn't fallen that way. So today's the day. We've got a 4th of July weekend, got a long weekend, and it is finally time to put the stone veneer, the same veneer we have put uh, along the wainscoting of the bar and that stone veneer. We're gonna do a stone veneer up three feet on all of these six posts here on the front porch. So uh, I'm kind of getting all of it together in my head, how big to make them according to my stone sizes and and uh, yeah, all of kind of that uh, stuff. So once I get it figured out, I'm gonna get one of them going and then uh, we'll show you what we're doing, how we got it put together. And uh, we'll show you uh, one of the pains uh, of columns being the, the top cap. We're having a real big issue with that. But uh, hey, we'll figure it out. So uh, stick along for the ride, like and subscribe. All right, so this is what I've come up with so far. Um, what I basically did is I made a ring to go around the bottom out of pressure treated two by fours, which I cut down to inch and a half by inch and a half. Why? Because two by fours and lumber right now is atrociously expensive. <laughs> so I ripped it down. I also uh, cut uh, two by fours and a half to put my verticals. I put a ring at the top then like right here is a cross just to hold it to the to the column that's what's holding this whole assembly in the center of the column same goes with the bottom i got two of them on the bottom to hold that on there these down here at the bottom are on, are just spacers and what i'm doing is i'm holding it up off the concrete i don't want the wood to sit directly on the concrete because it'll cause the water to to uh to wick up and it'll also cause other things to fall over. It'll cause the water to wick up into it. So if I hold it, if I hold it off the ground, it'll help keep water intrusion. It really doesn't matter because it's pressure treated two by fours. And because I'm wrapping the entire thing on the outside, just like that right there with cement board. Uh, the cement board also will not touch the ground. I'll hold it on the same. It's exactly three feet tall to the top there. And, uh, and then of course it gets covered with a mastic that holds on the stones and the stones will help hold the water out. So it's a, uh, it'll be waterproof. It's all pressure treated anyhow and cement board. So I'm not worried about any rot, uh, but you know, everything, uh, everything you do is helpful. So that's what I got going. I'm going to go ahead and put all those cement boards screwed on and uh, I'll probably go ahead and stone the first one just to see what it all looked like and just to make sure that I don't have a big foobar that I have to go back and change all six columns. So I'll probably do one complete and then once I get the one complete, then I'll start running with the rest of them. So uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the cement board on, board on and then we'll start putting on the stone facade. All right, there's what she looks like with the rock board put around it. She is solid. She doesn't shake, she doesn't shimmer. So everything's good, as you can tell. There's about a half inch gap all the way around the bottom. That'll keep the water uh, from trying to permeate up. Uh, I might fill it up with that uh, uh, big flex caulk that I have. Uh, there's nothing that'll get through it, plus it's it's uh, flexible. I don't know, It's uh, it's not a big issue. Water can flow under it. I just don't want it weeping up. Uh, wouldn't matter anyway because everything is pressure treat and or cement board. So everything's made for outdoors. Nothing there could rot uh, except for over a long period of time. So anyhow, I'm going to probably go ahead and mix up some mortar here and start looking at the stone. And I don't know. I think I'm going to stone one of these bad boys up and see what she looks like. So uh, hang tight. Well, time to put on the stone. And it is slow going. <laughs> Unlike a wall where you can just run down the length of a wall, this seems to be a whole lot of cutting and a whole lot of, I call it chicken work. Um, also, one of the things I found, I was trying to take the uh, base coat, veneer both base coat, I was trying to take it and put it on the board, trial it, and then take the stones and set them but I think between the heat outside and this this cement board is dry very dry and that dry board sucks the moisture out of that mastic out of your your cement and it dries too quick I mean it dries quick within minutes 
so they're not they wouldn't stick good that way so I'm having to do what uh, what they call back buttering which uh, if you've seen our videos you know what that is but uh, so we end up having to back butter each one of them and I'm also having to cut them off. Just some of them, some of them I don't have to cut, some of them I have to cut. Just a smith off. Which is no fun either. I don't have the wet saw any more than I had before. I was borrowing that from a friend and uh, it has since been returned. <laughs> so I have to dry cut them with a diamond blade. I mean, it works. It's fine. So back buttering. I put the mud right on the back, trial it to get the grooves, and set it in place. And just like the walls over on the side, these do not get grout. You can go back and put grout in them if you want. Just a lot of cleaning. You clean it off once you're done. We only have five more to go after this one. <laughs> it's five like more columns. One a day. <laughs> At least five days. Well, we had a late start today, so. Yeah, that's true. And you're getting your groove on. And I've been. Takes a while. And I've been answering phone calls from work. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> He's on call this weekend. Cutting these with the dry saw isn't hard. That's not the problem with it. The hardest part is holding your breath while you're cutting. Because <laughs> you don't want to put a mask on and cut and take it off and put it on and take it off. And, you, know. you could always double mask. So I just, just I'll start that. most of the I guess prime work done what I call the the base setting so he did the the frame with the wood and then we got the concrete board on all well we got six or seven of these One, six two, three, four. we have six columns so he's got all the bases ready to go ready for the brick 
Yep. Um, so this is day three, like I said. <laughs> yeah. And this is all that we've gotten done. Well, Tony's done most of this well, day, uh, while day, we're working on yeah, this. Day but. one, we did, I just did a whole column. This one behind Just to uh, yeah. find, uh, you know, I don't want to go through and do all six of them and then find some little thing that I got to go back and redo all six. Mm -hmm. So I did one start to finish. It was done. Figuring it out. Da -da. Took a whole day. Yesterday, spent the whole day, well, a lot of the day yesterday, building building these frames, putting on the rock board, getting everything screwed on, and getting those out of the way on the remaining five. Uh, yesterday was the 4th of July, so we had a family outing to go to. Mm -hmm. So we I, I, we, we uh, called it quits uh, fairly early, you know, in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, or we could have started putting the, putting the, the, the uh, veneer on, but uh, so today, veneer. <laughs> Stone. Yeah. So we'll be glad when this is done. I really want to get this porch in order here so we can come out and enjoy it, have it nicely decorated and, yeah. you know, cleaned up. It's It's been pretty messy for quite a while now. All these bricks have literally been laying around for over a, <laughs> a year. year. <laughs> and half of them, what I'm going to be working on, half of them are actually stored beside our little shop shed up at the top. So I've got to run up there and get the rest of those and bring them down here. Yep. So and we're going to go ahead and be working on this today and we'll show you the final finished product. I think it's going to look pretty good. <laughs> we'll see you guys in just a little while. See that sweat thing? <sighs> See it? Oh, it's dripping. There's plenty of it up there. <sighs> Your shirt's starting to get soaked too. No, again. <laughs> it's hot out here. So, so far, this is, what did we say, day four? Mm hmm. Day four, fourth day, actively working, all uh, full days. Or most all days. Uh, first day we, we did the first one to do a full test of it. The second day I built all the frames. The th and on the third day I started doing, uh, started coming on down. I'm on the fourth one now. Once you go to put the the veneer on, the stone veneer, it takes about three hours, about three hours per column with all the cutting. So, you know, there's your rule of thumb. But, uh, Yep, it's hot, it's tedious, a lot of getting up and down, cutting. <laughs> yep, but other than that, it's going to look good. Yeah, that already looks good. And it'll be done. The most exciting part. <laughs> All right, well, we'll check back in a little bit.
Tony? Rainy. <laughs> He's gung ho today. It's raining hard too. Woo! At least it cooled down. <laughs> oh. A little patch of grass out there that's brown. Maybe it'll start greening up now. The rest of it's pretty green. Day five, a lot better than yesterday's rain shower. <laughs> no got, snakes today. I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went, went up to look for some particular stones that are still up there, and uh, yeah, I came across a snake. But it uh, turned out just to be an Indiana milk snake, which aren't, uh, they're not venomous, so no worries. That's a snake skin, folks. Gross. I have to learn my snakes better because he pretty much scared me to death. <laughs> but, uh, yep, well, day five, we're down to the last column. I just, we're, uh, possibilities of rain here this afternoon, so I put the tarp up. It was actually sprinkling when I started, so I wanted to get the tarp up so I can, wouldn't get wet if it did start raining like it did yesterday. I got just absolutely soaked to the bone yesterday. But, oh well, gotta get done. So, day five. Lunch time. Yum. Does that make you hungry doing that stack stone? <sighs> Tony's jamming out here, y'all. Tony's jamming out here, y'all. Okay, Tony finished most of the stack stone columns today. They look amazing, but we still have to do the the toppers. So somehow we're gonna, or Tony is going to make a template and they're going to be concrete. So I think he said he's gonna try to get the template to where he can just pour the concrete directly on top and then it'll just set there and when it sets up, it'll just be finished like that. So it'll have a stone topper on it. And we are considering maybe adding some dye um, so they're not just that, uh, you know, concrete gray color. We'll add some dye to it, maybe a, a tan or a gray. So we'll see how that goes. A gray other than concrete gray, of course, maybe like a darker gray. Um, so we'll see. This is gonna be exciting when it gets completely finished. And then we also have to stain the post. So we're gonna try to figure that out as well. Hey guys. Well, we're on the uh, final step of doing the columns, and we've got the all the stone veneers on, and it's it's uh, set up and it's it's hardened up. The last part is we got to put a cap on it. Now you can find some caps that you can cut out and put around these. I don't like the seam on them, and finding one the right size is being a pain. So I've made caps before for columns at our old house around our pool, and I thought I'd just make these. So what I'm trying to do is make a mold. And then once I've got that mold made, I will pour concrete in it and then I will shape it to the shape that I want using my trowel. And we'll see if that looks any good. So I'm making the outside mold right now, the, uh, an outside rim of it. And then these are the verticals that will hold it 
a standard height. Uh, I've got to cut them to length or not to length yet. And I'll do that on all four sides. Then I'll have little walls here. It'll just be a little shelf. Um, I'll let you see it whenever I get the first one done. Right now, I'm just working it out in my head. <laughs> Scary place to be. And um, yeah, we'll see what I come up with. Well, I think we got a form ready. So it's got a trough for an edge here. And then it'll slope up slightly to the bottom of this and then tuck and then flat underneath it. So this, this holds it so it'll have a flat and then it'll come down to the edge here. It's at an angle. I have to trowel, trowel it to get the angle, but uh, we're going to mix up some concrete. We're also going to color the concrete to, um, we're just using regular concrete mix. We're going to use a concrete coloring that we bought, charcoal. We're going to start with half of it and see how gray that gets it, whether Kind of tinted to dark gray rather than going completely charcoal black but uh we'll see so we're gonna get the mixing before we lose sunlight Also put the red rosin down to protect that stuff is really good if you need your floors protected concrete indoors outdoors uh, you can find it at any you know hardware store has it big rows small rows get you some So I've got it sloped down so that the water will run off of it. I'm going to let this set up a little bit. When it's a little bit more firm, I'll hit it again, go over it a little bit smoother, round off the corners around the framing. And uh, yeah, then whenever it's, whenever it's hardened up, I'll take a sanding stone um, or a sander and I'll go over it and uh, make it just a little bit smoother, round some edges, just tidy it up a little bit. But other than that, that's all there is to it. Y'all hang in there. Uh, one down, five to go. All right, so I had another column done last night, or two of them. I did two of them last night. I'm going to go ahead and take the frames off, and uh, we'll see what she looks like. After after we set the concrete in it, I let it set for at least an hour, and then I come back with my uh, my radius trowel, and I put a radius on here so when it uh, when it dries, it doesn't have a rough a rough corner. The the corner is nice and smooth. But uh, see what she looks like.
these are the sides and there's a bottom piece that fits underneath. There's a, a tape on the bottom I have to cut off. Finally got all all six of the columns done. They really look good. We're happy with them. So uh, just be sure to give yourself an ample amount of time when you're doing a project. This took uh, several more days than we expected, only because of the caps and staggering them. But uh, I, this was probably a medium grade project as far as uh, difficulty goes. The stone is easy. That's not a hard part. The tops are a little bit more difficult uh, if you're not used to making a mold and, and doing your own. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you on the next project.